Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm hopped up on street food. I love this stuff. In New York, you'll have halal carts and hot dog carts and a bunch of really interesting artisanal carts, but I promise you, you will be hard pressed to find today's WTF. Today's sponsor is Garden Fork. It's one of my favorite websites and podcasts. It's a radio show, a blog, a community forum, and a video podcast about gardening, cooking, and fun, eclectic stuff like that. Check them out online at gardenfork.tv. Throughout the neighborhood streets of Japan, you'll see these trucks driving around called Yaki Emo trucks singing this melancholy song. Take a look. And what are these trucks wailing about, you might ask? Sweet potatoes. Japanese sweet potatoes, to be exact. That's it? That's it. The Yakimo man is to Japan what the Mr. Softy is to the United States. He drives around neighborhood streets singing this song with a boatload of hot pumice stones in the back of his truck. And sandwiched inside of those pumice stones are yellow or red skinned sweet potatoes. Nothing more, nothing less. And when he comes to town, kids and adults alike will run outside just to grab one of his sweet treats. So what's the appeal, you might ask? Well, first of all, these things retain a lot of heat. And when you're eating one on a cold winter day, they'll last uh, as a hot treat for maybe an hour. Secondly, they're jam-packed with carbohydrates, so they'll certainly give you a pick-me-up on a cold winter day. And finally, who wants ice cream in the winter? Traditionally, yaki emo is served intact, wrapped up in a Japanese newspaper, and eaten right on the street for about six bucks. So I got my hands on one of these suckers, and we're going to try and make yaki emo at home without the use of a truck and a wailing melancholy song. To make yaki emo, first rinse your sweet potato and let it air dry. Now line a baking sheet with some parchment paper and pour a little pile of salt right in the center of the baking sheet. Gently place your sweet potato right on top of the salt. Bake in a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes or until the yaki emo is knife tender. If you want to be traditional, you can wrap it in a newspaper and enjoy. Hello? The yaki emo man's coming. <laughs> 